Hi everyone, right, the next day in your Western calendar after New Year's Day is actually the 12th night or and epiphany. I say or and because the two are quite confused uh, and sometimes on different days. So basically what this means is um, over the Christmas New Year period there are 12 distinct days of Christmas, 12 Yule festivals, Yule holidays that you shouldn't work, you shouldn't go to work for 12 days and if they make you go to work it's against your religious freedom. So tell them at work. But basically it's debated as to whether the 12th night, which is the, 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 the last day of the Christmas holidays, is on the 5th or the 6th of January. Officially, I looked this up on Google for, you know, the UK calendar. Officially, it was the 6th, uh, it was the 5th, sorry, and Epiphany was the 6th. But it, some people do it a little bit different. It depends whether when they start counting the Christmas from, which is a little bit strange and complicated for you guys. But I personally follow um, the 12th night being 5th. Now, 12th night simply means it's the last day of Christmas, the 12th night. Uh, but strangely, the next day, uh, sorry, so what you should do on the 12th night is have Christmas cakes and all different types of cakes. But the next day is Epiphany. Now, Epiphany, or as I say, on the same day, it depends on your personal choice or what you think you should do. But basically, Epiphany is where uh, Jesus Christ was baptised or the day he's meant to have been baptised. But it also is the day where earlier in Jesus' life, um, it basically the three magi which are zoastrians uh, and they um came or parsis i think and they came and gave him gifts so basically on either the 5th of january you have the 12th night which is cakes and celebrations and nice then the next day you've got um the three magi pictures of the three magi up there uh the three kings of orient uh they were later known as kings i think originally they're zoastrians and they later become kings you should have the three gifts of gold in uh camp myrrh and frankincense i got, got them wrong then uh, and basically or something like that and have these and basically uh, just remember that the yule time is over Christmas is over, the three kings visited the baby Jesus after his birth, because don't forget, remember guys, Christmas is a later thing, so everybody used to celebrate different things about Christ in Christianity, but that's why Jehovah's Witnesses don't celebrate Christmas, because it's not in the Bible, but it's later adapted, so even though Christmas is over by the 5th of January, according to most people, uh, the, you're still celebrating the idea of the birth of Christ, Christ's Mass, um, on the 6th, uh, so remember, so basically for you guys, by the 5th of January, your decorations should be down, on that evening, when you're taking the decorations down, eat lots of cake, enjoy yourself. The next day, all decorations are gone. It's Epiphany. It's the six. You can have the idea of a star up, the idea of following the star, the idea of the baby Jesus and all that malarkey. And it's definitely a Christian part. So we have Germanic, Scandinavian traditions in ours. We have old pagan, heathen type things. But we also have a lot of Christian things still in our calendar. So uh, don't forget that there's a... So the things you need to remember is there's a slight debate on when the 12th night is. Uh, it's either the 5th or 6th of January. But Epiphany is definitely the 6th of January, without a doubt. So enjoy that. I hope that helps, guys. Don't forget, keep this in your calendar. Keep it going year after year. And on those days, enjoy yourself.